So this is for the calculus and the pre-calculus students who are going to be using discussions on Canvas. So one of the things we're going to be working on is using the correct notation. So in a discussion like this where we're talking about expressing the limit of something, let me show you how you can get that to appear uh, in your discussion response. So let's say you're going to reply, so you click on reply. And then you might see it along this top row. You might not. If not, it's going to be under this little snowman menu. Look for the square root of x. All right, so when you click on that on your Chromebook, it might take a little bit longer to load. So here we have a bunch of different math notation we can enter. This is basically a lot of different things you can do with latex. I am in advanced mode. So if you see switch to advanced mode, I'm going to show you how to do something in advanced mode that may save you some time versus looking up whatever it is you think you need up in here. So if you click on advanced mode, this is how you would enter limits. Forward slash lim underscore curly brace x forward slash to space and then whatever number you would like the uh, the limit to be at so let's make sure we're as descriptive as we can here let's say we want to approach one from the left so we're gonna go one and then shift six curly brace and then remember uh, remember when we want to approach something from the left that's a little minus sign all right, so I'm going to close off my exponent with the minus sign in it, and then I'm going, to, I'm going to close off this lower part where we have x to 1 from the left. It's going to appear under the limit, but I need to close that with another curly brace. And then you can kind of see under here, it will show you what that's going to look like. So then let's say the limit as x approaches 1 from the left of f of x is, and then let's say it's negative infinity, so negative forward slash infty. All right, so there's some things you can do uh, to insert your limits into the discussion. Obviously, if we're not taking the limit as x approaches something from the left or the right, you don't have to add the exponent part. And if the limit is something other than infinity, you can just write the number in there, but this at least shows you how to do that when it is uh, either plus or minus infinity. And then when you have it ready and it looks exactly the way you want, you can just insert the equation. And you can do this after you've ty typed in some text. So let's say... I found the limit, I'll just get rid of this, by doing such and such a technique. And you can get the math notation to appear right in the middle of a sentence, which makes it uh, look better. It's more professional. It's a better way to communicate. Uh, so you can type in whatever you want in this box. You can also insert pictures, uh, exponents, and subscript. And when you're ready, just hit post reply.